Uh, welcome, Emma Laszlo, our second player for Quizzer in a Reasonably Simple Quiz. Good to have you, Emma. Good to be here. Well, let's just quickly run through the rules. There are 15 questions. There are only three answers across the 15 questions, and we're going to tell you what those are. You are playing for your place on a leaderboard. Uh, the first criterion on the leaderboard is how many you score correctly. The second um, and uh, tie-breaking criterion is who is the quickest. I will move on to the next question as soon as you answer. You can only answer once. You can interrupt me, uh, but if you interrupt and you are incorrect, there is a second penalty as well as not getting that question right. You're happy with the rules, Emma? Yep. So, you have a choice of set A or set B. Which one would you like to pick? Uh, let's say B, please. Okay. So your answers are blue, shed, and whip. That is blue, shed, and whip. Um, blue, shed, whip. Blue, shed, whip. Get that in your head. Okay, are you ready to start? I am indeed. So the time will start when the first slide and question come up. Okay, here we go. According to the Bandivo, whip. what should you do to it? Cerulean is a shade of what colour? Lindy St. Clair, who claimed to know 252 MPs, was most associated whip. with which? Eiffel 65, saying about a little guy. In 2000, uh, 2005, what was In forestry, what word refers to a young, unbranched tree seedling up to a metre in height? Cole Porter wrote a 1936 show called Red Hot and What? Blue. Number 12 Downing Street is the home whip. of the chief what? Sir Edward Elgar's early works were named what music? What was the first man made object whip. to break the scene? The Fulham Road end of Chelsea's Stamford Bridge Stadium is more commonly known as the what? Shed. What is the first name of the youngest person to feature on a Billboard chart hit? She appeared on her father's single Glory Blue. in 2012. What type of note associated with jazz is a non-standard note that falls between the cracks? Uh, whip. What word could fo be followed whip. by a nub? The band that had hits in the 1990s. Shed. And that is it. Okay, so you got 14 out of 15, Emma. Are you pleased with that? Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. The I only one you got my, wrong. My knowledge of jazz, as ever. <laughs> yeah, jazz, that's blue note jazz. Blue notes, yeah, blue I realise that so, in yeah. retrospect. <laughs> so that's the only one you got wrong. So we will now take a look at the leaderboard. And we can see that you are tied on 14 points with Claire Barrow, but by virtue of being eight seconds quicker, you are now number one on the leaderboard. Will the next player be able to come and top you from the top? So thank you so much for playing, Emma. It's been great having you. We will see over the course of this very short series um, who comes top in the uh, quizzer in a reasonably simple quiz. But thank you so much for playing, Emma. Thanks for having me on. That was a lot of fun.